Only on WVTM 13, as Birmingham moves forward with a multi-million dollar stadium, some residents think other neighborhoods are being neglected. As one woman tells WVTM 13's Mary O'Connell, Birmingham looks like a tale of two cities. You have this side of town looking this way and this side of town it seems neglected. Neglect Birmingham resident Bridget Jeter hopes is looked into and fast. It just seems like the longer, older time residents seem to be forgotten and their taxpayers as well. Frustration Jeter captured in these pictures. The first photo showing a well-groomed area around the Highland Park golf course. The others of an area near the city owned course in Roebuck. Some of the fencing is missing, so they will get an old dead tree and fill in the fencing. And when I pass by the Forest Park, Highland Park um, golf course, the curb appeal flowers and sidewalks. I just think that's just not fair. Jeter says the fencing problems are just a small part of a bigger picture, saying that developing neighborhoods get more attention, leaving others forgotten. We want to seem like you care about us as well, instead of just the people with the money, the developers. The Birmingham Park and Rec Board's Stanley Robinson says all communities are important and encourages people with complaints to call and report them. A tale of one city. This resident hopes has a happy ending. The development in Southside, it seems like it's been quick, and that's great. We want to see the quickness in the neighborhoods. In Birmingham, Mary O'Connell, WVTM 13. We reached out today for comment from the mayor's office. Mayor Woodfin has said money generated by the stadium will go back into Birmingham's neighborhoods.